We're back. We're talking high-tech sex. So far, we've met Gino and Wally, who tried to make love connections on their computer, and cyber slut Gloria, who successfully had, has successfully had computer sex with 2,500 guys. Make that 2,501. <laughs> Our next guests have taken computer dating to its logical conclusion. They met on the computer and married on the computer, and tonight, for the first time, they're going to meet each other face-to-face -face right here on our stage. We've kept them separated backstage. Now they're separated on stage. Please welcome Reed Sullivan and his wife, Donna. <laughs> Donna, Reed, welcome to the show. Now, this must be an exciting year for you. I mean, after a year and a half of courtship and marriage, you two are finally going to meet. What's the first thing you're going to do when you actually see each other? We're getting a divorce. What? <laughs> How can that be? No, simple. We, we hate each other. But that doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Otherwise, these cards are useless. Um, Donna, how did it all start? Well, about a year and a half ago, I used my computer to go into a chat room. Uh, just like Wally and Gina did. So you're a lesbian, too? <laughs> no, Dick. I visited the heterosexual singles chat room. Oh, okay, okay. Well, tell us how you, how, how you meet Reed. Well, I signed into a room, and um, there was a discussion about... <laughs> well, can I say masturbation? Uh, obviously you can. <laughs> They were, they were taking a poll. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can say it, you can't describe it. Uh, no, Dick, a public opinion poll. Oh, okay. And read answer. Yeah, okay, so you see, Donna really, you know, turned me on with the way she expressed herself, so I asked her to join me in a private room. Well, speed racer, you don't waste any time. It, it was incredible, Dick. I mean, we, we really seemed perfectly suited for one another, but I couldn't leave my job in London. Mm -hmm. And I was finishing graduate school in San Francisco, so we got married via the computer. Oh, so you went to a justice of the PC. <laughs> <laughs> so you two got married. <laughs> right, right. And, and because of our distance and our, our schedules, our, our lack of finances, we couldn't get together till tonight. It's... Pretty stupid, huh? I mean, hardly worth the trip. Oh, yeah, and this whole thing could have been so romantic. Yeah. You see, this is what happens when there's no human contact. You know what you guys need to do? You should go discuss all your problems over a quiet candlelight dinner. Oh, how about a walk on the beach? You're right. You're exactly right. I love walks on the beach. <laughs> Every night, I take my schnauzer, Antonio, out for a stroll. You never told me you had a schnauzer. Yeah. I have a schnauzer. <laughs> does this great trip with guys, 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 guys. Hello, hello. <laughs> We're talking to Donna and Reed. Okay. Um, so anyway, what about, what about this divorce? Uh, we, we're going to get divorced because I caught her cheating on me all over the internet. Whoa. I was not cheating. Those were harmless conversations. You, you, you uploaded graphic file photos of yourself in skimpy lingerie and, then, and, and emailed them via your modem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're going to use terms like that, you better explain them. What do you mean by skippy lingerie? Uh, you know, j j usual stuff. The usual stuff, uh, leather teddies, hot pink push-ups, crotchless thongs, that sort of thing. <laughs> Even dick song. He wouldn't let me talk to anyone. Oh, that is not true. I, I just thought that some of these guys were talking to you like you were still single. Yeah, well, you thought wrong. I only cared about you. You didn't care. Hold on, hold on. I think it's time to remove the barrier and let these two people yell at each other face to face, just like a regular married couple. Forget it. Forget it. So Miller, pull down the phone. Wow. <laughs> uh jeez, I, I didn't know that you had a body that firm. Oh. oh, you know, you're a lot better looking than your email picture. See, this is what love is all about, a man and a woman face to face. You are exactly right. Go ahead, touch her. Right there, come on. Can I touch her? Oh, boy, see, this is just like, almost, almost like the ending of Sleepless in Seattle. Your favorite movie. Oh. How do you know that? Oh. 
course you know that. We talked about it on the computer. That's right. We talked about a lot of things. Yeah. Hey, listen, man. I'm sorry I lied. To you. Uh, you know. Listen, after the show, maybe we could get together, you know, and, uh, well, you know, have a few beers. Talk about chicks. <laughs> Chicks would be good. Beers yeah. would be good. Yeah. Chicks and beers. Yeah. Sports. 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 Sports exactly. would be good. Yeah. Well, it place. looks like Gina and Katrina might get together after all. <laughs> but right now, it's time to take a break. When we come back, I'll make love to a woman, and she won't even be here. Like there's something new about that? <laughs> Stay tuned. Tonight's topic, intercourse on the internet, I should say that Donna and Reed aren't on stage anymore because, frankly, they are two of the horniest nerds I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and, of course, Wally and Gino are out walking the old schnauzer right now. <laughs> and Gloria is in my dressing room practicing her new laptop dance. <laughs> uh, now, our next guest says that when it comes to high-tech sex, the computer is just the tip of the cyborg. You probably know him from his very explicit cable show, Way Too Personal. Please welcome sexual therapist, Frank Cam. Frank, welcome to the show. Thanks, Deb. Pleasure's all mine. Frank, times have changed, haven't they? It's no longer the days when you can meet somebody, have sex with them, roll over, and go to sleep. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a new age, Dick. Uh, we've evolved as humans into an era of uh, partnerless sex. <laughs> I don't mean to snow on your parade, Frank, but partnerless sex has been around since the, well, since I was 12. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Uh, but today, uh, good sex comes in many different uh, shapes, sizes, uh, and voltages. Oh. <laughs> many of which are available in the latest Stiffer Image catalog. Oh, <laughs> Stiffer Image catalog. Interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. Huh. What is a bathroom weasel? <laughs> Uh, I, I, I left one in your dressing room, Dick. Okay. Terrific, thanks. What do you call that thing there? Uh, that's a gay rearview mirror. Uh, would you like one? No, no, no. <laughs> but what do you have for a screaming heterosexual like me? Well, it's something that will very soon be in all the stores, Dick. It's a virtual reality suit called the Succedo. Ooh, looks kind of complicated, but I'll give it a try here. Well, uh, this this is actually the prototype. That's that's not too loose a fit, is no, it? No, it seems to be fine. Okay. Uh, this comes with three sexual adventures for mm -hmm. you to choose. What do we got? Okay. Well, the first takes place in a women's prison. Yeah. It's called a fistful of pardons. Oh, that, that would be handy. Uh, definitely. Uh, the second is the sexploits of the rugged Indiana Johnson. Yeah. Called. The Brothel of Doom. Ooh, sounds dangerous. Very well could be. Yeah. Uh, and for the alternative lifestyle, there's the musical sex rom, Oklahoma. Oh. <laughs> sounds really dangerous. Well, I want to get with the chicks behind bars and do some hard time. Okay, okay. Well, since you picked it, Dick, go directly to jail, Warden Dietrich. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The helmet, the gloves, the belt allow you to see and feel sexual impulses in a computer-generated environment. Everything is so lifelike. The sights, the sounds, the cleavage. Oh. Oh, God. Well, hello, my little jailbird. I'm the new warden here in Slammerville. Well, I have a full pardon for the woman that knows how to please me. <laughs> well, come on out of the cells, girls. <laughs> you look a little uncomfortable in those prison denim dresses. Perhaps you'd look better in miniskirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dick, you can modify the experience just by flipping the control switch. Oh, okay. Or a thong bikini. <gasps> oh. oh, my God, Frank, this is incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, okay. watch it, Dick. Don't go too far. <laughs> Girls, you know why you're here? Come on out. Okay. Who wants to please Warden Dick? <laughs> Come on, no, no, not all at once. Okay, be careful now. No, no, take it easy. There's so many of you. Be Come on, then. take your time. Whoa, what did it tell me? Ow, ow, ow! What are you doing? Stop hitting me! Just Stop. Take ow, ow, ow. Just hit ow. Oh, Jesus! Ow, ow, ow! 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 Ow, ow, ow!
Still has a few bugs in the old tuxedo, I guess, Dick. Yeah. Well, what have we learned tonight? Well, we've learned that you can't hug a computer, you can't kiss a computer, and you can't rub up against the computer's butt and pretend it was an accident. But computers can still enrich people's lives. You know, the founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates, probably put it best when he said, God, I'm going to make a ton of money. <laughs> For now, I'm Dick Dietrich. Hey, nightstand isn't over yet. Take a look at this.